Hello. In my last video, I showed you how to clone a hard drive in case you have a, a failing hard drive. Now, how would you know if you have a failing hard drive? Well, sometimes um, if you have a failing hard drive, it will start ma making um, noises, maybe like uh, clicking or grinding. And if you hear those noises coming from your hard drive, uh, it might be a good idea to clone your hard drive and uh, get a new hard drive before it fails completely and you lose all your data. But um, sometimes uh, you could have a failing hard drive and it will not make any noises. It will just seem like it's uh, running normally and uh, it will just fail one day um, all of a sudden. Uh, but the good thing is um, hard drives come with a monitoring system and uh, this monitor system is called smart and um, so with this monitoring system it can tell you a lot about how your hard drive is working and if there are any abnormalities in your hard drive now to access that data you in your Ubuntu uh, you will have to go your, to your um, Synaptic Package Manager and um, in your Synaptic Package Manager search for um, Smart Mon Tools this is it, I already have it installed um, so you will have to get this and install it. Once you do that, um, you have to go to Google and search for um, G Smart Control. Okay, so the the first result we're gonna get is this website right here, G Smart Control and um, in this website you just go to downloads and um, find your distribution down here um, since I have Ubuntu uh, I'm gonna choose Ubuntu here just click on uh, OBS project directory and now um, it, it will show you um, a bunch of uh, distributions down here but uh, I will go all the way down since I have 9.04 click that one now if you have 64-bit um, uh, Ubuntu then you will have to choose this one but if you have just you know the 32-bit uh, you have to choose this one but since I have a 64-bit I'm gonna click this and, and I'm gonna download this package right here So to install this package, it, you just double click it and uh, and click install package. Okay, once it's done, you just close this. You go to your applications and go to system tools and go to gsmart control okay so when you go to gsmart control you, it's going to show you all your hard drives now um, let's say I want to check this hard drive right here you just select it go to devices and go to perform tests you will get this window now and um, to test your hard drive there's actually um, uh, two ways of doing this there's a short self test and then there's the extended self test the short one is about only 60 seconds um, and it will do some basic testing to your hard drive 
but if you want to make sure that everything is working um, with your hard drive you might want to go to the extended one it will take about half an hour but uh, for this tutorial I'm just going to be doing a short test so I select the short test and click execute and it will perform the tests and uh, when it's done it will show you the result it will either tell you it found errors or it will tell you your hard drive is fine So the test is complete and the results are down here and it says test results completed without errors. So I know my hard drive is okay but um, you might get uh, no errors uh, through this, uh, this uh, short test and uh, you might still get an error with the, with the long test. So you, if you have time just run the long test just to, be, to make sure. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind about hard drives. Uh, if you want your hard drive to run um, for a long time with no problems, just make sure your case um, is cool enough inside of your case. And um, you know how when you install your hard drive, there's a uh, it comes usually with four screws. Some people don't want to open the other side of the case they just get lazy and you don't want to do it and they just install their hard drive with only two screws that's not good for the hard drive because um, the vibration from the fans uh, in your computer and your CD-ROM drive that will um, shorten the life of your hard drive so just um, make sure your, um, your computer is cool enough and uh, make sure your hard drive is fast okay thank you for watching